taking the head off now. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Um, this morning we took the hood off. I took the radiator cap off. Um, drained the uh, antifreeze. And now we're at the point where we need to remove the uh, distributor and the head bolts and take the head off. So my uh, friend Pat's here helping today. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do. You want to, if you want to try and take this off, Pat, this is a spring loaded. It just, it, it, you have to pull it out and then it, it should work off of there. There you got it. Good deal. Now I wanted to take these loose here so we could get to the bolt underneath. I already broke that one loose a minute ago. And I decided to get a breaker bar in here. Damn, that was tight. There we go. Okay, so let's take take this off. And then there's a bolt underneath on the side we gotta take off to take the distributor out. And put that in the back. Uh, all right. Now there's a bolt right here. Nine sixteenths, I think, half or nine. And there should be one a wrench laying there, if not over. I think that's eleven sixteenths. But okay, let's see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take the rest of these bolts loose, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, we've got all the head bolts, uh, our head bolt nuts loose, and then we're going to take this bolt out. So this distributor will lift out now, and then we just simply unscrew it off of here off the cable. This security cable goes up to the ignition switch and this button is what uh, locks it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting how that works. I guess that pushes in and then that nothing happens when that goes in there. Okay. So now we just need to go ahead and take our Rest of our head bolts off. Uh, oh, that goes to the distributor. <laughs> okay, we've taken all the uh, head nuts, head bolt nuts off the head. Uh, we've still got the fan belt attached here. We're going to take that off in a second. But I've got these uh, eye bolts that have got uh, the threaded piece on here, which should screw right into the spark plug hole. So we could lift it right off. I don't think, I think pick it up. I think it's not that heavy, but... I guess you're going to pick up the whole engine. This is a good way to pick up the whole engine when you've got the head bolts all torqued down. You don't want to be taking a head bolt loose. You don't have to. Come on. You get it? There you go. Okay. Just weren't holding it. Just didn't hold your tongue in the right spot. Okay. Now I want to take, uh, let's see, I will take the uh, starter. Um, loose enough so we can get the belt off. There should be a place to take the tension off the belt. Yeah, I feel like a pretty good sized bolt there. Three quarter, maybe five eighths. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to bring the uh, Roll the gantry over here to lift this head off. 
If I was a young man, I'd crawl up in there and manhandle that son of a gun off of there. But uh, I'm not a young man anymore. There's no point in straining my back or hurting myself. Yeah, it just came loose. Oop, it came off. Okay. Put this down in here. There we go. Okay. Just like that. And those are out of the way. Now we're going to bring, go get the gantry and bring it over. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's go on. Okay. Got a little pressure going on? top of the engine, top of the block with the head off. Um, this is our distributor cable, distributor cap. Um, and we're looking at, and I can turn that. Isn't that interesting? I thought we had a, a stuck valve, but it's it turns in there. Let's see if it goes up and down without any effort. Put it on here. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we uh, turn the motor over, I think we're in gear. Yeah, got it in gear. Okay, I think that's out of gear now. And if I spin this around, oh, that turns nice. That turns real nice. Okay. Let's see if that valve's opening back there. There it opened. And there it down. It spins over nice. Oop, got a bunch of antifreeze in there. In here, I took the head off. Yeah. You can spin this over with really nice. It just spins so easy. Very nice. Mm, you all working? Well, this is going up and down. I, I, used a, I used a screwdriver here to just kind of lift up on it. Doesn't seem to be... Uh, doesn't seem to be a problem there, but we're going to have to take it off and look at it and check the seat and make sure the seat is seating because when you when it goes down, it doesn't look like it's going 
Yeah, it looks like it might be down there. Well, if you miss it just a tiny bit. Okay, we'll see you when you get back. This is the uh, the gasket, the head gasket, still on here. As near as I can tell, looking at it, doesn't seem to be any uh, damage to the gasket. So, just trying to figure out if there's a some kind of a passageway that's blocked anywhere. Could be causing our problem. Everything's wide open. Everything's wide open. See right down, right down between the cylinders there. Oh. Okay. So, gang. Bring you back in a little bit. All right. Yesterday I uh, made this tool. Hope you can see it okay. Yeah, right here. Okay. And this is supposed to drive out the valve guides. It's a split valve guide in here. So let's see what happens today. Let's see. Man, pry this up. And that's supposed to slip on there. But it's not. Okay. We'll have to make this a little wider. This uh, slot's a little narrow. Let's see what we can do now. Should be coming up, okay. That's one half. There's our remover tool right there. Go down in the back there, okay. So there's 
there's our valve valve guide and here's our our burned up valve you can see right here let me turn this let's see where it's from about here over there it's it's burnt. So, I need a new valve.